And with Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum for the latest on our forecast. Bright and shiny behind you there and no doubt hot. It is. It's starting to warm up out there and get ready for a hot afternoon. You can see from our BJCC camera looking good. Mostly sunny start to the day today. 78 degrees with some light winds. The dew point in the lower 70s. Still a little bit on the muggy side, but that heat index not too bad. Only at 79 right now. Around the area, 72 degrees for you in Anniston with 73 from Alex City back to Clanton and Jasper now. Tuscaloosa Faith there at 75. Safe view Coleman to Alabaster. So not a bad start to the day today. A little bit warm, a little bit on the humid side. We'll see this temperatures warming up to 83 by 9. 9 a.m. by 1 o'clock, 92, 93 by 3 o'clock, and that'll be a high today. We'll see about a 20% chance for some rain, so typical summer heat out there today. 95 Tuscaloosa back into the Moundville area there, but 93 Fayette, Jasper back to Birmingham, Alabaster, uh, Asheville back to Anderson and Talladega, rather about 92 for you, 93 up in Gadsden, so the more or less uniform temperatures out there. And the heat index about 100 to 103 across central Alabama today, so yes, a little bit still hot and on the humid side, but a little bit more on the variable side. And don't forget for rest restaurant week this week. Uh, you can see great weather out there for the rest of the evening hours. 93 at 4 o'clock at 85 at dinner time and by 10 o'clock 80 degrees. Of course, that goes all the way till the 30th of July. My ice cream scoop cast today. Well, we're talking about still probably need about three scoops out there to keep it cool. That high of 93 and that heat index coming in about 101 degrees. But right now, weather is pretty much quiet and clear. The deep south looking pretty good, but watching this front to the north. That's our next weather maker. That one is going to bring us the threat for some rain, maybe some heavy rain as we get to Friday and Saturday. Right now, though, you can see there are some storms north of Memphis, and then you get on into eastern Kentucky here in southern part of West Virginia. That's where the flooding rains have been continuing from Hazard there, Kentucky, back to the Pikeville area, points down to the south near Wise and Lebanon, Kentucky, heading to parts of far western the state of Virginia. Now again, I have a friend of mine, Brandon Robinson, a meteorologist up there in Hazard. He has water up to his front door there. He's at work uh, doing this, but uh, nonetheless, they've been covering all that flooding rain. Six to ten inches of rain has fallen overnight for them. As that front works its way to the south, you'll see it's going to stall just to the north of us, but that rain threat's going to get to about Birmingham northward. South of Birmingham, you may not see much rain out there for the Friday, Saturday time frame. Today's chance of rain, south of Birmingham, 20%. North of Birmingham, 30 to 40% out there for today, but as we we head on into tomorrow and Saturday. The chance of rain goes up to 60 to 70 percent before going back down on Sunday, and that's our next system that's going to be moving its way through the area. So today's rain not really an issue for us. You can see out there pretty much quiet weather as we get to lunchtime. Some pop up storms out there. They'll continue through three o'clock this afternoon. So may want to throw the umbrella in the bag, but again, most of you stay fairly dry by seven o'clock tonight. Maybe a random shower in Clay County and as we get to tomorrow morning. The weather is going to be fairly quiet out there, so that's at least some good news to start off our. Friday, but we have that weather where for Friday and Saturday, the inconvenient weather with some strong storms and some localized flooding. Now, the best chance is going to be north of Birmingham, but something we'll definitely watch here as that front slowly works its way closer to us. Much of Friday quiet. You can see some of those storms popping up three o'clock on into dinner time, but more scattered variety as we get into Friday evening. And then overnight into Saturday, it's going to be fairly quiet, but here comes that front on Saturday working its way closer into us. Question is how far south it goes, and that will depend on how much rain we get in rainfall totals between say now through Sunday evening and most of this Friday and Saturday could be around one, two inches across part of the area. So you can see that heaviest rain seems to be confined more to the north than it is to the south. Southern parts of the area, you may not see much rain at all. So be weather aware on Friday and Saturday as we head to the weekend, hot and humid for Sunday into next week with highs in the lower 90s.